Hey y'all, what's up? It's Ebony. I'm back with another video. This time something much different. I haven't been up here for a while, but I took some a creative pause, if that makes sense. But yeah, I wanted to jump on here today. Uh, you guys know in the wake of this whole coronavirus, everything going on, um, we're kind of stuck in the house, right? So uh, today I just wanted to give you guys something fun to do, you know, with your little ones, your kids, or, you know, even yourself, if you just uh, parents, uh, aunties, uncles, grandmas, all that good stuff. If you are looking to pass time any type of way, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a fun project today so you guys can enjoy each other, love on each other, and get closer, get closer. You know, um, so you guys not spending so much time doing your own things and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be drawing today. And of course, it's St. Patrick's Day. So I hope you're wearing green. If you're not wearing green, quick, go, run, put on some green. I'll wait. Are you back? Yeah, so I hope you're wearing green, and if not, if you couldn't find any green for whatever reason, we're going to be adding some green to our pictures today. So yeah, we're going to be having a good time, um, and one thing I can tell you about this process, do not rush yourself. Take your time. Uh, this, this video is designed to be paused, so if you feel like I'm moving too fast or anything, just slow me down. You can backtrack, you can rewind, all those good things. Uh, but we're going to be working step by step. I'm going to try to take my time and go slow for you guys. But like I said, if you have to take some time to pause or um, slow down a little, just rewind it and play that part back that you need to see again, okay? Um, but yeah, we're going to have some good times. And I want you guys to tag me in your drawings. Take photos of you drawing and I want to see your final product, okay? Uh, and again, I like to always remind my little artist this is my piece that is your piece that you're going to be creating they do not have to look the same you are original you are who you are so be who you are be original and make sure you put that originality in your piece okay in your drawing for today all right so we're going to get started um if you have any type of questions any type of concerns drop them in the comments below and i'll be sure to answer you guys i'll stop, try to stay ahead for you guys so that if you have any questions while you're in the process of drawing um i can kind of just get in contact with you really quick so yeah we're going to start make sure you have your paper make sure you have your pencils make sure you have your markers make sure you have your crayons your um color pencils, your eraser, whatever you're going to need for this process, um, make sure, sure you have it. Um, yeah, and your drawing paper can be simple drawing paper. If you have something bigger than this, this is that's fine. I believe this is an 8 by 10. Yes, so if you have something like of this size, that's totally fine. If you have something bigger, that's fine too. You just work a little bigger, okay? You just work a little bigger. If you, uh, like I said, if you have bigger paper, draw bigger, okay? That's totally fine. Same thing I'm drawing, but just draw bigger, okay? So uh, we're going to get started. Y'all ready? All right, guys, so we're ready to start. So um, I'm going to be starting with a marker. However, I want you guys to start with a pencil. That way, if you make any type of mistakes, you can erase and um, start over, okay? So I'm going to start with a marker so you guys can better see what I'm drawing. However, please start with a pencil, okay? Start with a pencil for me. All right, so we're going to get started first. And what we're going to do is break down some of the pieces to what our big picture is going to be. So this is what we're going to just break down the small pieces, okay? Just step by step. So that way, when you put them together, you'll know what we're drawing. I haven't told you guys what we're drawing just yet. But if you saw the intro or um, the thumbnail, you should have an idea. But um, yeah, we're going to break down the pieces, okay? All right. So we're going to start with a hat, okay? So we're going to start with your hat. And so what you're going to do is start, this is the bottom. So make sure you remember that. This is the bottom. And you're going to draw a little curved line just like that. 
Okay. All right. So then you're going to draw two lines on the side. One, two. It's kind of, it kind of looks like a C. You see that? But it's down at the bottom. Okay. So then we're going to add another line right in here. Just like that. And then you're going to have two lines, one curved this way and another one that curved this way. So one. All right. And two. And come on down. All right. Then the top of the hat, is, so you curve the bottom like down. You're going to curve the top up kind of like a, um, kind of like a, uh, like a rainbow. Okay. Not as hard, deep as a rainbow, but just, just, just enough. Okay. Let's see. Let me show you a little longer, just in case somebody's trying to follow along. You see? All right. Now, you're going to add this little teeny piece here at the top of the hat. Just a little line, a little curved line. All right. And now, if you ever seen like a little leprechaun or a little leprechaun hat similar to the hat that I'm wearing it has like a little buckle on it okay and so to make it look like this hat goes around that little sash is going to curve just a little right it's going to look like this line curve like this line however because there's a buckle on it we're not going to go all the way over we're just going to do the sides one two but make sure you have a little curve to it. Just not, it's not just a straight line. It curves down just a little. Just a little. All right. Let me turn this for you guys just a bit. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing for the bottom buckle. One. Two. And see, it's just going to curve just a little. And we're going to add the buckle now. One. Two. Three. Four. Two. Three. Four. Okay. All right, so that will be your hat, okay? So you should guys should have your hat already all down now, okay? A next part of the leprechaun, the next part is the shoe. He has these fancy shoes that he wears, so we're going to get his shoes down, okay? So for the shoe, we're going to start with the bottom, okay? So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, Five, curve up, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, 
okay? And that is the bottom of the shoe, okay? And then you're going to draw, we're going to build up from there. So we're going to go back here to the back of the shoe. And you're going to draw a line just like this. Then you're going to come down one, two, three. All right. So remember I told you about those curved lines, those lines to make something look round. Okay. So what we're going to do is add one of those curved lines at the tongue of the shoe. So it's going to curve down, all right? And then you're going to come down here. And you're going to go down again. And you're going to draw the top of the shoe and connect it with this part. Oh, look at those sh cool shoes. All right. So now for the future, you're going to draw two of these, right? <laughs> two feet, two shoes. However, what you can do is just flip, flip the shoe on, like mirror it, like flip it. We'll do that together, but that's just a trick for later. So now we're going to add that same buckle, but it's kind of just half of the buckle. So the inside... Well, we'll do the outside first because it's a little bigger. One, two, three. Okay. Three sides instead of four. And then the smaller piece to the buckle inside. One, two, three. Okay. So that is a shoe. I think that's a pretty good shoe. I think y'all's shoes are pretty good too. Make sure you are sending me photos, guys. And make sure you tag me on my social media. Take pictures of your final project. Take pictures of you going step by step. I want to see them. I want to make sure you're doing, doing everything right. Okay? So make sure you're tagging me. And my social media will be posted down in the link. And I'll also be having it on the screen. All right? So next up, we're going to do a three leaf clover you can do three or four and remember to like as you draw think of everything as shapes squares triangles rectangles uh uh hearts in this case we're going to add some hearts to this okay so first we're going to start with the stem okay and you're going to just go one just like that to come around that curve down is that curve down we talked about okay and if you want you can turn your paper a little bit for these steps so it's not so hard on you okay i'm going to turn my paper a little bit so we're going to come from that curve down we did and we're going to make it thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner until we get to the top okay and that is our stem Okay, and next we're going to add the leaves to the clover, okay? And like I said, you can do three or you can do four. I'm going to do three, okay? So remember, you can turn your paper because what these are going to look like is little hearts. So it's one. And two, stop. All right, so you're not going to connect it. You see it's a heart, but you're not going to connect it, okay? And then you're going to start on your second. And what you're going to do is start from that line that you stopped at. So you're going to go one, and start back at that line, two, stop. 
Do not connect it. Okay? Start at that same line. Come around one. And for the last one, because it's the last one, you are going to connect this one. Two. Connect it to the stem. Don't connect the heart, but you're going to connect it to the stem. All right. Remember, if you have made any type of mistakes at any point, feel free to start over. Okay? Feel free to start over. This is not a rush. There's no race. There's no competition of who's best. Art is designed for you to get better and better and better. So the more you do it, the better you get. Okay? It's designed that way. All right. So next, we're going to do an amazing pot of gold. All right. So remember that curved line? We're going to start with that line. One. Okay? Simple, easy as pie. One curved line. All right? Then we're going to do a pretty big pot of gold. So you're going to start here at this corner, and you're going to go around and around and around and around. Stop. All right? That's going to be your pot. And then we got to add some gold. So gold is usually like little circles just like that, right? So we're going to add those. So you may have some half ones because it's down in the pot. You can't see them all and they're stacked on top of each other. So really you could just do like little rainbows kind of in there. Because they're stacked. So some of them you may see the whole piece, but for the most part, they're just stacked in there. Laying on top of each other. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, just stacked. Who wishes they had all this gold? You'd be rich. All right, stack, stack, stack. Look at all that gold. Look at all that gold. All right. And how are we going to know that this is gold? Like, how about we add the words or the letters gold on here? Okay. G. O L Oops, sorry. D
okay? So these are all our little pieces that we're gonna need, plus a few more. We're gonna add some few more up here. And um, yeah, y'all ready? We're gonna keep going. So we're gonna toss that sheet, toss that. And then we're going to start with our masterpiece, okay? The grand finale. All right. So again, I want you to use pencil. Get a fresh sheet of paper. I want you to use pencil. However, I'm going to be using what? Marker. Correcto. Correct. Correct. I'm going to be using marker even though I want you guys to use pencil. So just in case you make mistakes, I want you to be using pencil, okay? All right, so for starters, we're going to be drawing an amazing circle for the head, okay? Y'all ready? All right, so, well, not a complete circle, but like a, uh, remember I told y'all about the arch now, okay? So we're gonna start there right here. Okay? And then we're gonna have a flat line at the top, okay? One in this, so it's gonna kind of rainbow up just a tad. So up, all right. Now, we're gonna add his hat. Now the hat, because his head is tilted in a different way, I'm gonna show you a different bottom to the hat, but the top is gonna look the same, okay? I'm gonna show you a different bottom so it looks like it's actually going around his head. Remember, we want this to look 3D. That means three-dimensional. We want this to look like we can take them off our paper, okay? So, I'm going to show you a different hat. So, I want you to come right here on the sides of your circles. The side right here. And I want you to draw up like that. Okay? Kind of like big floppy elephant ears, kind of. Okay, then I want you to do the same thing over here. Just like that. And now we're going to connect these lines in a fancy way. Okay, so we're going to start over here and we're going to go up, dip down just a little like a S or a snake and come back up. Okay. So... This is the face. This is the bottom underneath the hat. Underneath, okay? And then we're going to add the top of the head, hat, okay? We're going to have a line here. One. Okay? And then we're going to have a line over here. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. A line here. Let's see. Okay. And remember how we practiced our hat? You had the arch over, kind of just the same way we did this one here. Right. All right. We're going to add the buckle. Remember how we did the sides? One, two, one, two. Go in, add the buckle. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right, so he has some funky ears. All right, kind of like elf ears, if that makes sense. All right, and you're gonna go kind of up at a point. That's his face, you're gonna go up and down like that. Same thing on the other side. One, two, funky ears. All right. 
And what's super special about a leprechaun, right? They have this orange what? A orange beard. All right. So, uh oh. So we're gonna use um we're gonna use our marker and we're gonna draw that orange beard. Okay. All right. So first. We're going to come about right here. All right. From ear to ear, you're going to add your beard. Okay. Now, his clothes, all right, first, you're going to have a line right here. One, line over here, two, and now you're going to come up just a little, like a rainbow, but kind of like we did the buckle, it's not going to go all the way over. You're going to stop. One, two, stop, Okay. All right, sorry guys, I realized my phone was full as far as the storage is concerned. So let's reset a second. All right, so we went in and we added some lines in here for as the vest is concerned. We had these curves, this line here, one, two. All right, we added the belt. Remember, just like the hook, just like the buckle, on the hat. So one, two. Remember, add curves so it looks like it goes around. All right. And then the bow tie. You want to add a little knot right there in the middle and then some little flaps. And you could do these however you want. Like you could just do them a circle around just like that. Like one, two. Or then you can add a little structure to it, okay? The arms, make sure you guys can see. All right, so this arm is on his hip. So we came across the top. Here, one. And then it's kind of like a little triangle piece. Round it off the elbow, came down. Don't connect just yet. Not to his shirt. Don't connect to his shirt. All right. And I'm going to color this part in on mine. I can't erase because I'm dealing with marker. So, his, call, his shirt, sleeve. All right. And then his little hand is going to come around and tuck. All right, so this arm over here, one is sticking out, two, all right, his little sleeve, just a little rectangle right on the end, and then the hand. So what I started with was kind of like a mitt. So you have like his thumb. So you from this from the little sleeve, you have one, two, three. So that would be his little thumb. And then you have like a little mitt for his uh hand. All right. And then you're gonna add the fingers. So, but this bottom line, remember to curve it. So you want it to look like the fingers are actually going around. All right. So like that. All right. So you see, I could close it off and make it just a little mitt. 
or I can just add a little, like four, we're going to do four fingers total. Well, three fingers and a thumb. Uh, and then you just add some arches. One, two, three. Okay. Add a little round in this. Okay. And then you're going to add the fingers. One, two. Okay. All right. Now, while we're up here towards the top, let's just go ahead and fill in his uh, little details on his face. Okay. You're going to add a little detail in his ears. Okay. We're going to go in and add his smile. All right. That's a basic smile. If you want to add like where his mouth is open, just dip down a little bit more and follow that same line. See? We're going to go in and add his nose. Now you're going to have three bumps for his nose, like one, two, three. But um, the middle piece is just going to be a little wider. So y'all can see you're going to do one, two, three. See? His nose. All right. And you, it's fine to keep it like that. You know, the idea of the nose. All right. And now you can do his eyes. Now you can do your eyes just like mine, or you can do your eyes round or however you want to do them. Uh, however you know how to do them. So you can switch it up. So remember, I told you to be original. However you want to change this up, you are welcome to do the, that. If you want to change the colors up, if you don't want to use the same colors that we use. But remember, it is St. Patrick's Day, so you want to use some green. But if you don't want to use the same exact colors or you don't have the same colors, switch it up. That's okay. Uh, so my eyes are going to look like this. So I have this. That same arch down, all right, like that. But then I'm going to come up and up, okay? Add some eyelids, both sides, all right? And then give them some eyeballs. And then I'm going to add his little pupil. So those are my eyes. <laughs> A little scary. All right. And then I'm going to give him some eyebrows. So his eyebrows are going to be fluffy like his beard. Okay. So we're going to go in and give him like those fluffy look like little caterpillars. His eyebrows. And it's like a little cloud right over top of his eye. Those are his eyebrows, okay? So that's his face. And then we're going to go back down to the bottom and we're going to add, remember those cool shoes we drew? And then his legs, all right? So one. Two, same thing here, one, two, all right? So we're going to add that shoe, remember? Add the line. So remember the shoe we drew in the beginning, guys. So you can go back and look at that and reference that. So you'll know how to do it. Add the buckle. And then we're going to add. It's going to go down. One shoe. And then we're going to add his other shoe over here. Okay.
look at those coolness. All right, so that is our entire little leprechaun. Isn't he so cute? All right, so now what you're gonna do is kind of like the best part. You wanna go in and try to jazz this picture up, okay? So you wanna really go in here and make this your very own. So if you're sitting there with your brothers or your sisters, all of you guys' pictures should look different, right? So let's think about things that are important to like a leprechaun. So we did the pot of gold, you remember? We did the clover, you remember that? Uh, we, he loves gold and all of that. So you can have it maybe raining gold, like go, those gold circles. Let's go, let's go back here. So we're gonna think about like our background, okay? So I'm gonna draw tiny pieces of paper, kind of like our paper. And remember, this is just so you can see. You're gonna wanna use pencil if you wanna do this process. So this is, this is like my, whoa. So this is like my map out process, okay? So we're gonna map out what we want this picture to really look like when it's finished, okay? So we're gonna use these little boxes. Each of these boxes represent a separate sheet of my paper. So I'm thinking about this little leprechaun, so I know I got him in the middle, right? Simple. Hand on his hip, feet. All right? Well, we can do this a little bit. All right? So that's my little leprechaun there in the middle. Little feet, his little outfit, hand on his hips. Same thing here. Okay? So now we want to think about the background, right? So whatever we're going to do with this, all this outside space. So some things. So remember, think about like a leprechaun. Think about, you know, the pictures that you've seen, maybe the videos, the movies you've seen, um, all those things. So not anything scary or anything like that. But we want to think about the things that he likes. So it's like the pot of gold, right? And we've, we've learned how to draw a pot of gold. So you can reference that pot of gold. Uh, we learn how to draw gold. Gold is just little circles, right? Little circles you're going to draw. So let's think about some ideas for your background. So I think personally, I'm going to go with a rainbow in my background. So what I'm going to do is just have like stripes of colors going in my background. So remember, you're going to go around your leprechaun. You're not going to touch you're going to touch him, but you're not going to cover him up. Okay. So that's the idea. So you can have like a rainbow. So I'm going to use like the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, um, indigo, violet. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do for me. Now, another idea would be to take, remember we learned how to do the clover, right? So you can actually do this and where you like draw a clover. So, okay, this is gonna be the stem of the clover. And then around him, I'm not gonna touch him, remember. I'm gonna do that clover. Okay? And so it looks like that clover is kinda just sitting behind him and he's sitting in front of it, okay? So that's the idea. And then you can still do like a rainbow if you wanted to around here, or you can do like some gold or a gold and rainbow or add a rainbow somewhere. Okay, so that's the idea for the background. Another idea could be like raining. So maybe you put like a pot of gold somewhere or you have a rainbow, maybe like a pot of gold here. Right, you got your gold in there. This is the pot behind him, right? And then you have maybe a rainbow going into the pot behind him, okay? And then you have like some gold, yellow. Remember that gold is yellow, raining down everywhere, okay? All right? So for the gold, it's just as simple as if you want to add like some gold to the background, it's little circles, 
These are big, but I'm just, I want you to be able to see. Go, you got the little circles and you color them yellow. Or you can color them, see? So simple. So if you want to do like the little gold all over, pot of gold. These are gold, right? All right. Some yellow. I'm going to start to do the rainbow. Um, add your green. So, so whichever color, this is how you're going to decide what color. If so, like if you're going to, you have a lot of color, like green in your leprechaun, you're not going to use that same color green that you have. So if you have a lot of light green in your leprechaun for this back, Clover, you probably want to use the dark green, okay? So, remember, variation. All right. So, that's around my leprechaun picture. I could have drew his hat. All right. So, remember, that's going to be behind him because you already drew your leprechaun. All right. Uh, and this is the one with the rainbow. So you can add a rainbow, remember guys, anywhere you want it to go. Because I know you guys like rainbows and they're fun and super colorful and super creative. So, you know, just go back to your other colors and... Add in some, well, this is pink. You know, you can add your rainbow in there. A uh, little blue. And I'm going to give you a trick. You guys may already know this to help you with your, um, help you with your rainbow but you probably already knew it Remember, that's around the leprechaun. Not covering him up. Do not cover him up. Do not, do not, do not. And we're going to go back to red. All right. So, a trick for your colors. Um, Roy G. Biv. Um, yeah, so Roy... She Biv. Okay? So for your rainbows, you want to do Roy G. Biv, and it's red, orange, oh, almost got that wrong, yellow, green, blue, indigo, which is kind of like a purplish color and violet, which is kind of that purple and pink mixed, okay? All right, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys had some fun with this. 
And like I said, if you need any type of assistance, please do some ideas or anything like that. Remember your pot of gold. Remember your clover. You can also add the clover to his hat, which is kind of cool, a little clover right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish decorating mine. I'm not decorating it with you guys because I don't want you guys to cheat. So I'm not decorating it with you guys, but I will come back and show you guys the finished result, okay? So have fun, decorate yours. I'm going to decorate mine and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so we are almost finished. Once we get to this point and you have your background all filled in and everything is colored in, you want to take your black marker or your black crayon or whatever you're using that's black color pencil, and you're going to use, like, go over your outlines just to make sure, like, if you went outside of the lines anywhere, you know, everything is okay. All right. So just go the same lines that you already have. You want to clean those lines up, okay? So go over all of your lines, the whole entire picture. Perfect. All right, guys, we made it to the end. Thank you so much for joining me for this amazing project. I hope you guys had great success for this. Remember to tag me in your pictures, tag me in the pictures of your process, your final project. I'm going to see, you know, share me some pictures with you and your siblings. Maybe share some of your uh, St. Patrick's Day fun that you're going to be taking part of today. I want to see, I want to see your green clothes, everything. So make sure you tag me, make sure you share my uh, social 
social media links are always in the description box and posted throughout this video. So if you didn't see something, feel free to go back and review and look and ask questions in the um, comment section. Uh, if you need help with anything, again, find me on social media. You can comment here on this post and just ask me whatever you need to know. Um, if you want to see anything in the future, any different types of drawings or anything like that, just let me know guys so this is the final piece i'm so excited and i'm so proud of you guys because we definitely made it this far i'm excited also um parents if you have some younger babies younger children uh this um the black and white of this will be posted a link posted in your description box. So if you have access to a printer, that would be great if you can print it out. But if not, perhaps you can um, maybe screenshot it and put it on like a tablet or something and they can use the little color feature and uh, color this in. So if you have any little ones and then they can design their background and everything like that because uh, they can add, you know, the coins or anything like that to their uh, background, the uh, clovers and things like that. So again, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, take pictures, show me everything. I have an amazing day. And thank you again for tuning in to Stroke of Genius. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, uh, all that good stuff. And subscribe to this channel. We're going to be back again Thursday. Today's Tuesday. We're going to be back again Thursday with another piece. So again, tell me what y'all want to draw. Let me know. All right, so y'all have fun, have an amazing day, and I'll see y'all later.